or he has to give back the life of the wicked from the hands of the evil doers. The word of the Lord. In my anguish, I caught the Lord and he helped me. I love the Lord my strength. O oh Lord, my rock, my fortress, my savior. My God, my rock, where I take refuge. My shield, my saving strength, my stronghold. I cry out, praise be the Lord. And see, I am saved from my foes. The waves of death rose about me. The torrents of destruction are saving. The snares of the grave surrendered me. The traps of death comforted me. In my anguish, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry to him which his ears. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. 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 Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have, you have the words of eternal life. Glory Glory to Jesus. 
while Jesus was walking his miracles and preaching from place to place, people were happy to receive their miracles. For them, Jesus was just a great miracle worker. They could not read between the lines. They could not perceive that the miracles were signs, pointers to a greater reality that God was in the midst of men. When Jesus eventually revealed his divinity as God, they picked up stones to throw at him. It is funny, when people start fighting you, they suddenly forget all the good you have done for them. Even those who received the miracles joined in shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! Moments like these are sure to come. Such moments are tests to us. If you want to know a man's true character, watch the way they behave in times of adversity, in moments of anger, provocation, or failure. For most of us, the animal in us comes out. We begin to say things and behave in ways that are, to say the least, totally unchristian. Both Jeremiah and Jesus were greatly provoked in our first reading and in our gospel passage today. And we have a lot to learn from their behavior. Jeremiah prayed a prayer of surrender. He asked God to fight on his behalf. O Lord of hosts, who test the righteous, who see the heart and the mind, let me see your vengeance upon them. For to you have I committed my cause. Jeremiah 20, verse 12. He even goes on to sing despite the pains in his heart. He says, Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the life of the needy from the hand of evil doers. The singing of Jeremiah reminds me of Paul and Silas who sang praises to God while in prison. Unlike the Israelites, Paul and Silas did not complain. Sing praises to God even when things are rough and watch what happens. Surrender to God. Let him fight for you. Every one of us, we have enemies. We always have enemies. And Jesus says, don't allow hatred to fester in your heart against anybody. Just pray like Jeremiah and say, God, into your hands I surrender this situation. Fight on my behalf. Let me see your vengeance against them. Let me see your vengeance against them. You know, as someone said recently, he says, there is a problem and I think I will align with what the person has said. There is a problem with us black people. When we are oppressed by others, we tend to fight for our freedom. We tend to unite very well when we are oppressed and we fight for our freedom. 
eventually, when we gain our freedom, we begin to fight ourselves. And it is true. The reason why black people are down, why they are not the leaders of the world, we have everything. We have all the natural resources. We have oil, we have gold. We have, just name it, the wealth of the world is in black country, is in Africa. The whole wealth, the world, all the countries of Asia and Europe and America, they are depending on the wealth of Africa. But Africa remains a backward continent because we hate ourselves. We are always fighting ourselves. Once we see a fellow brother or sister doing well, making progress, he suddenly becomes an enemy. We stop talking to him and we begin to wish bad for him. Just imagine all your friends you grew up with wishing bad for you just because you are a step ahead of them in life. That is what is keeping us down. But even at that, even at that, we should not allow hatred in our heart. All we need to do is just to pray like Jeremiah, pray like Jesus, sing praises of God, and ask God, ask God to fight on your behalf. You don't have to hate anybody because they hate you. A lot of people hate you. And you cannot, you cannot change their heart. All you need to do is just to pray for them and ask God himself to deliver you from their hands. That whatever plot they are plotting against you, you will escape from it. Jesus had all the power to call that fire to point those who were exchanging words with him. But he simply escaped from their hands and went away across the Jordan. Jesus did not use the power he had to fight his enemies. People were exchanging words with Jesus, saying, you are blasphemy, you are not the son of God. How many of us in that situation, knowing the power we have, how many of us would just walk away from them? How many of us would just walk away? You see, we have enemies. We have enemies. We have people that will challenge us. We have people that will persecute us. See our first, our first reading this morning. You see, I hear many whispering. Terror is on every side. Denounce him. Denounce him. Let us denounce him. Say all my familiar friends. You know what we mean by familiar? Familiar friends. Uh, they are not your friends. They are, they are actually friendlies. They come to eat from you, but they hate you. They receive miracles from Jesus, and yet they accuse him of blasphemy. Jesus did not use his power to destroy his enemies. Christians, children of God, the power of God is not meant to destroy enemies. Otherwise, we are no different from those who are fighting us. If people are fighting us, people who are not Christian, they don't know God. If they are fighting us because we are making progress in life, we should not now begin to use the power of God that we know we have to fight them back. Instead, we should surrender them to God. Because Christianity today is no different from Juju worship. It's no different from traditional worship. And that is why we cannot just pray quietly. If we must pray, we must shout. If we must pray, we must shout. Today's Christians, it's like, it's like we are fighting. It's like all the anger that we have stored up in our heart against our enemies. It is a time for prayer that we vomit them out. We bring them out. Uh, I seem to say, God is far, far away. We begin to shout. We, 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 we are no different 
from those who go to the river because we want to kill somebody. You can kill either with uh, with knife or glass, or you want to kill with prayer. Oh Lord, destroy them, finish them, fight them. May they never know peace. May good thing never come their way. Are you a Christian? When somebody goes before his uh, Oloko Shiran, or his uh, whatever name of the Shiran, is it not the same thing that the person is saying? The same thing you are saying in the presence of God, that is the same thing the person is saying. You are just, see, there's something wrong with us. Let's just admit it. We black people, we, we, there's something wrong with us. There's something seriously wrong with us. We black people. We live in a world of enemies and we are always fighting. And we are fighting each other. We don't even look at those who are who are oppressing us. We are fighting each other. And just I so, so just just imagine a uh, uh, cement that is produced in this country. The the raw materials for cement are gotten from Edo State here. They are gotten from here. Then all of a sudden the man, only one man in the whole country producing cement. This man just doubled the price from two five to five thousand. Some people are selling even for six thousand in some places. Meanwhile, in the north, up in the north, cement is still three thousand naira. Up there in the north, but for here in those states here, where all the raw materials for the cement is produced. Uh, cement is 4,000 naira. There's something wrong with us black people. I don't know whether there will ever be a redemption, but we just pray for ourselves and we just sur surrender ourselves to God. We can make a difference. Don't pray for fire to burn your enemies, for bad things to come their way. Because when you continue praying like that, then know that many of the calamities you have experienced in your life is as a result of the prayers of others. Just imagine, just think of that. Just imagine that the calamities you have ever, all the calamities you have experienced from, from in this life is because people prayed against you. Why do you continue to pray bad prayer for others? Jesus even reminded them of the good things he has done in the past. And he said, I have done many good works. Why are you stoning me? Jesus did not fight back. And Jesus even said, We should pray for our enemies. Jesus went all the way to the cross. And right there on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they do. And this is the man we are following. But today, uh, Christians of today, they don't follow Jesus. Rather, they follow the same thought pattern of the traditional gods you know we are still very much into our traditional religion we just use christianity like rapa and yeah? it just it, we know we didn't convert we just change rapa we just we just drop that traditional religion and use christianity to cover the the, the, the heart of christianity is love for your neighbor even those who are fighting against you love them Love them. It's not, it's not for you to wish that they are dead. Love them. Let God do his work. Let, if, if, if it is the will of God that they be destroyed, let him do his work. All you just need to do is to sing praises to God like Paul and Silas, like Jeremiah, who continue to sing. He says, sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because God we deliver you from the hand of the evil doers. May God bless his words in our hearts.
brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Grant, O oh merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at all at your altars, and here be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are giving your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that free from this ordered affection, they may so deal with the things of this passing world, as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy their body, keep the prayer, and send it down the Spirit upon them like a few so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it but this is my body which will be given up for you Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for these are the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Augustine, our Cobesi, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, the spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. 
and the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching with them to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, to send to your apostles. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that we have had on earth. Let me say your word and my soul shall be O oh God, help me to make a good communion. Mary, my generous mother, grace to Jesus for me, my generous brother, give me to the altar of God.
Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As he is God, so we can make his mind and our travel to our Most sacred times of Jesus, who are great times of the Lord, Lord. St. Agatha. The year of St. Joseph prayer, to you who bless St. Joseph, we have recourse in our tribulations, and why employ the ears of your most holy spot, to confirm the importance of confirming it also. By that of which he delights of it, to the human college virgin, mother of God, and by the fatherly affection, with which he did embrace the infant Jesus, the only thing he said, he shall speak to the great inheritance, which Jesus purchased with his blood, and to help us in our necessity by the powerful intercession. Protect the most holy men, guide them from the holy family. Show the children of Jesus Christ. Walk out from us, O most lovely God, all trace of errors and corruptions. Graciously assist us from heaven, O most powerful protector, in our struggle with the power of darkness. And as we did once rescue the child Jesus, from illness and grace to his life. So that we defend the Holy Church of God from the snares of our enemies and from all our adversity. Share each of our troubles from the Church from Caesar in so that the imitating your example and supported by your faith, you may be able to live a good life, die a holy death, secure an everlasting happiness in heaven. Amen. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that will do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. This prayer of St. Joseph is one good prayer we can say in moments of adversity. Listening to the prayer we see, asking St. Joseph to defend us in battle just the way he defended the baby Jesus in moments when his life was at risk. So when your life is at risk, ask St. Joseph to intercede for you. Today, we are having the inauguration of the Evangelization Commission. We are inaugurating it today at the St. Paul Minor Seminary. And all the members of And the Son and the Holy Spirit come down and remain with you all, both now and forever. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Time to go. Johnny Messis to those who are traveling to Bomotu uh, today and uh, enjoy rice and chicken. And remember to bring our own when you come back.